Good day. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Dwayne Matz. Welcome along to another Primetime Devo as we're continuing to go through the book of 1 Timothy, looking at qualifications for a pastor. And uh, today we find ourselves in 1 Timothy 3, verse 2, where a bishop, a pastor, then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, temperate, sober-minded, and today we'll look at of good behavior, of good behavior. Now, that seems kind of silly to me. I mean, uh, of course he must be of good behavior. We can't have a little spoiled brat running around leading congregations. That just won't work. Well, as you probably have guessed, there's a little bit more to these words than simple rebellious behavior. The Greek word used here is cosmos. Well, where have we heard that before? That's where we get the word cosmos with a C, which is defined as an orderly, harmonious, systematic universe. It's the exact opposite of chaos. So a pastor then must be one who, well, put it, putting it simply, uh, has his act together, okay? The biblical commentator Lenski says that a pastor's whole makeup should be orderly, spiritually, mentally, and in his habits. So this word then speaks of stability. A pastor must be spiritually stable, not apt to go chasing after doctrinal shadows. Oh, look, there's something new we should believe. In other words, he must have an unwavering trust in the doctrine and steadfast faithfulness to the doctrine that was handed down to the church by the apostles. He must also be mentally stable with full use and control of his mind. And he's also to be one with observable, stable behavior. And this speaks of outward conduct that is orderly as opposed to disorderly conduct. Now just think about uh, people that you've read about being arrested in the paper and charged with disorderly conduct. What, what is this catch-all crime? Well, most of the time it's just a, simply a matter of someone who's out there rabble-rousing and disturbing the peace. So the pastor must also be a model, law-abiding citizen as long as the law of the land doesn't contradict the law of God. Bottom line here, the only peace that a pastor should disturb is the false peace of a contented sinner. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.